boys. Me and my only true friend. You. A camera. But we're off today, so let's take an adventure, huh? So we're back. We got our uh, cat filters here for our fast fuel system with copper piping. And I'm like 7,000% sure these are the right ones. So those should go on. Shouldn't be that big of a process. We have to adjust our whole fast because it's tilted and then bring it up, mount it to the frame like it's supposed to be so the filters hang back down. Then we also, where did we drive to? We drove somewhere. I think so, somewhere in Rhode Island. Good state, love Rhode Island. And we picked up this battery that's really heavy, but it's a bumper with the Taylor the trailer hitch and frame mount and everything, all the hardware. So that's good. Couple more things checked off the, uh, the old to-do box. Pretty, pretty sure. that our coolant level slightly low because our heat's not working. I did a new water pump when I had the engine outside of the actual truck. Did a new water pump. I did not do a new thermostat. Um, however, I have a new thermostat, but it kind of sucks because this is a, well, it's a second gen 12 valve because it has, it's from the second gen truck with the turbo and the intercooler and the, v, and the P7100, that's what I'm trying to talk about. It's a 94, so it's not like a VE uh, non-intercooled or anything like that. So we did a water pump, we did not do the thermostat. Um, ironic thermostat, lol. So, this being a swapped truck, there's no uh, bottle, or reservoir they call it, for the actual radiator coolant. Because a 12 valve Cummins, with a Cummins radiator, this being a Ford 6.4 liter power stroke radiator, what do you notice is not on the top of it. There's no cap to fill it anywhere. So we had to cut one in into our hose. It should fill either way, thanks to gravity. Sorry for the beeping, but now we're gonna start the uh, truck up and we're gonna pop the radiator cap off to let any excess air out and uh, make sure the system is full and then see if the heat works. So we're making up our turbo drain here, boys. A little bit unconventional. Since we have our third gen exhaust manifold on the truck, on our 12 valve Cummins, it brings our turbo down a little lower so we don't hit the heater core, the factory Ford heater core, of course. So we're gonna have to remap our turbo oil drain almost of it as if it was compound. So. So we're going to take this gas cock here, we are going to thread this 
right into the side of our 12 valve Cummins oil pan. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, boys and girls.